When it comes to early season fishing opportunities, few things are better than spring crappie action. For all anglers, the barber goes down and thoughts of a fantastic meal never get old. While spring crappie fishing is relatively simple, you are hunting moving targets, and crappies move a lot during this time frame. Good spring fishing can start as soon as the ice leaves the lake. Finding them is a big part of the equation, and that depends on a lot of variables. Locationally, man-made channels are good places to start your search. After that, shallow weed bays with bulrushes or developing weeds are good options. A lot of good crappie fishing also revolves around consistent weather. Warming trends draw fish in while cold fronts push them out. One day they're loaded, the next day they're gone with the wind. Let's join Al Linder and Ty Shadeen with more insight into finding and catching one of North America's favorite fish, the crappie. <laughs> Springtime crappie fishing. Is there anything better than a tie after a long winter? You, you guys been fishing crappies and walleyes and everything else through the ice. But boy, oh boy, when that ice goes off and you get a day like this, when that spring crappie bite is on, they're on it and they're like a kid in a candy factory all over again. Closed captioning is provided by Smooth Moves, adjustable boat seat suspensions for a smoother ride. There we go, there's one. There's one, Al. This is what we're looking for. Nice crappie. Nice crappie. Good one. Oh, there we go. Oh, huh? Look at that. Al and I decided it's been a long, long winter. And uh, we're going to we'd head out to one of my old stomping grounds. I've been fishing this lake for all my life. And like I said, the ice just went out. And the fish usually stack in. This, we're just on a on a flat, it comes from deep water up onto a flat, and these fish just stack up on there. And it's a lot of fun. The ice has only been out for a week, like I said, so we needed a, we, we had a long winter now, we needed some, some of this stuff. It feels good to catch these things again, so that's a, nice that's a beauty. It's a good start to the day. Look at that dandy, big old silver side. Ready? There she goes, there she goes, that's what we're talking about. Here's some drag again. This is, a, this is a little better one too. It <laughs> yeah, might be it bigger than the other one. Another netter. Yeah. But we're getting some use out of this net. Oh yeah. Today. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, not no. This is a good there one. You really go. a good oh, one, wow, Ty. Nice fish. Really though. a good one. Now you're catching up. You betcha, I am. Look at that, huh? And and the magic hour hasn't even started yet. Wind laid a little bit. The sun's got that water cooking. And the crappies are cooking up too. They're loving what they're seeing. And it's just gonna get better and better and better as this as the day goes on. Love this time of the year. Love it. Love it. And this float, no matter how old you get, there's something magic about seeing that thing go bloop down and catching a crappie with it. It just never ever gets old. There we go. Crappity. A nicer one again. Just working that edge. Staying away from the crowd. Look at that other dandy. Jeez, look at those tanks. Wow, those are fun. Fun, fun fish. Look how fat they are. A lot of people think they're actually getting ready to spawn. They're actually just staging here. If you, if you think about it, these fish are probably in this area because it's six to ten, six to ten feet, right? Just a flat. These fish have probably been in here for quite a while, getting ready. They're eating minnows and bugs and whatever else, but we're talking 43 water temp and they're just getting really active. Just look at how fat she is. She's gonna spawn, make a bunch more. Just another, just another nice just one. Another eater. What lies beneath can no longer hide. 
New Mega Imaging Plus uses high-frequency sonar to show you fish and structure up to 200 feet below your boat and 200 feet out to either side. No more secrets. No more guesswork. Just a clearer picture of the world below, down to a fish's species and direction. Because more detail means more of this. Only from Humminbird. That's not just a bass. That's a pig. That's not just a snook. That's a donkey. That's not just a smallie. That's a toad, dude. Introducing Suffix Advance Fluorocarbon. It's not just another fluoro. It's a whole new category of fluorocarbon. Hello, future. Like many of you, I've had back issues. From the pounding waves of Lake Erie. To over 30 years of competitive angling. And a lifetime on the water, but not anymore. Smooth moves change the game. It's a must have for me and my clients. It's like my boat is floating on air. They're easy to install. Fully adjustable. It makes a day on the water a whole lot more comfortable. Smooth your ride with smooth moves. For the ultimate fishing experience that won't break your budget, Lund delivers the new 1650 Angler. Featuring large casting platforms, plenty of storage for gear, lockable rod storage, and a spacious live well. Choose from three different layouts, including a full windshield for added protection, a side console for added space, or even the classic tiller for ultimate boat control. The affordable Lund 1650 Angler is perfect to fish those backwater honey holes and tough enough for big water. This segment is brought to you by Big Bite Baits, designed to bring the big bite to your line. Just another, just another nice just one. Another eater. Yeah, I haven't been able to call for this one. Was starting to get yeah. edible, but not quite. Not quite. Nothing wrong with that one, Al. No, I know that. No, a really nice fish. Yeah, I got to tell you a story. You know, I, I, I never use live bait, never, for anything. And I haven't used live bait for crappies for over 60 years, 60 years. Let me tell you a story. I grew up fishing the lakes in between Chicago and Milwaukee. And there's a whole bunch of lakes in there, the chain of lakes, and they're excellent fishing. And when I was a kid in there, there was a jig that was available in that area. It was called the Pinky Jig. And I learned how to fish it along with all of the locals. It was in all the bait shops, and it had a pink head and a white calf tail tail out of it. And you didn't never, I, I learned at that point in time, you don't need minnows. You just can use artificial baits. And then when I moved to Minnesota, where we live now, and I started guiding after I got out of the military, the, there was an, an old guide here. His name was Gene Shapinsky. And he made a jig, and it was called the quiver jig. And it, it was a, a floss jig. And I started fishing it here again and seeing what all the local guys that got in on this thing. And you did not, you didn't need, you didn't need bait to catch these things. And, and it's still the case today. I don't think, uh, I'm positive you do not need minnows ever, ever. Panfish jigs come in all different shapes, material types, colors, and styles. When you're fishing under a float, some things are more important than others. Natural action is primary. Whether you're fishing with hair or plastic, you want a bait that looks like it's breathing all the time. For hair jigs, we like the VMC Hot Skirt Glow Jig and the 1 16th ounce Marabou Jig. Some of our favorite pre-rig jigs are the VMC Probe and Flaptail Jigs. Now, if you want to rig your own, we always use the VMC Moon Eye Jig, and we prefer a Big Bite Crappie Minner, Slab Tube, or Panfish Minnow. All of these baits work in the water with minimal motion horizontally or vertically, and suddenly tease fish into biting. Ooh, I got, I got one to join there yours. You go. Oh, there you go. Oh, I'm catching the juniors. You're catching the bigger ones. Right, but Ty, you, know, you know, Ty was just comment, commenting, uh, about a float and a jig underneath it. There are so many different floats available today and each one serves a little different purpose. 
and uh, uh, you got fixed floats. Uh, well, he here's the floats and a little bit of when, where, and how and why to use each one of them. Spring fishing and floats go hand in hand. Many times the fish are not that aggressive in this cold water, so you have to drop a bait right in their strike zone and leave it there. Now when it comes to styles of floats, there's basically two different versions, the fixed float and the slip float. Both of these can be used in a variety of situations and each have unique advantages that you want to be aware of. The scattered weeds where fishing today are anywhere from four to six feet of water depth. So we have a fixed float and a slip float with about a three foot drop to the lure. Now, if you were to fish anywhere deeper than this, a fixed float can become too unwieldy to cast efficiently. You simply cannot have that much free floating line below the float. So that being said, fixed floats work their best when the fish are anywhere five foot and shallower from the surface. However, the fixed float allows you to fish with very light lures and present that bait extremely subtly with no extra weight. If you use a slip float and a light jig, you might have to add a split shot and then you lose that subtle action of the light jig. Now, when you're fishing in and around emerging cover like reed beds, a fixed float can get clunky because you've got all that line between the bait and your float, which causes unneeded tangles. Slip floats work their best in this situation and make a tight package so you can drop that directly into emergent weeds and fish around them very precisely. The bottom line is you need a variety depending on your situations. Ooh, now I'm catch now I got <laughs> now I got one like you've been catching. I oh, could fit. Yeah. Now I got a good a good one. There you go. Oh man, those are fun. Let me get that sucker in here. You got this yeah, for yeah, 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 yeah. I got light line on here. I don't, I don't want to. heavy too. Yeah. You know that you're catching the right size crappie. At least I want to show show them this. You know you're catching the right size crappie when you use a net. This is that new new net from Clam. They call that a panfish, a net, and that's really really slick. We've just been starting to use them. They just came out with them. It is a heck of a net. But like I said, when you got to start netting them, you know you're on the right crop. The right size, that's right. You know, you really cut it when you're looking for these fish in the spring, and you're really cutting down your, your time of actually searching for these crappies by having a good GPS, a good Lake Master card of the lake that you're on. And you can highlight the different regions. We're really focused on six to eight feet. So as you can see, I've highlighted all this red area that really cuts it, cuts it down. So you're looking at these points, Look at all these areas, you're really narrowing your search down. And then you go in and you look for the weeds. So we know where we want to focus. So you go to this spot, that spot, this spot, and look for these, these tall, thick weeds. And that's where those crappies are, are really concentrated on this time of year. And, uh, and then you go to work. Oh, feels like a better one. To, oh yeah, Good, oh, yeah. real nice one, Papers. real nice one. A netter. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, real yeah. nice netter. Isn't that that's fantastic? You see them flip flopping <laughs> down in there. Yeah, you, you, you know, you know, you could see it really far out. Look at the size of that fish. Yeah, you know. You know, the springtime bite like this, and even what we're doing here, a, a, a good solid pair of sunglasses is important. Anybody that fishes knows that. Uh, we've been fishing wavy label. I mean, using wavy label for our fishing for a while now, and these people, they, these people live in our hometown. They come up with, with these glasses. So we made friends with them, and they came out with a lifetime warranty, really reasonably priced, couple diff different color lenses. And uh, uh, when you sit out on water like this in this deeper water, you're seeing little patches of weeds out to the side, mats of weeds that are maybe a quarter of the size of my boat. And you, you make a cast into that and you get one or two crappies out of there, one or two crappies out of there. I can see them even casting 25 feet away. I go like this and everything is about, I can see nothing, nothing. Great company, great product, great price. All good stuff, man. This, how about this fish? <laughs> Amazing. Nothing better. It flat out allows me to catch more fish. 
Power steering and spot lock have revolutionized what we're doing on the lake now. Faster response times when, when steering. A spot lock. Man, it's second to none. Game changer. A game changer. Game changer. Some of the boys that were staying next to us actually had a 34-inch walleye. Wall <laughs> One experience, true wilderness fishing. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, you just got to visit Sunset Country. Yes! <laughs> From the kennel to the coop, whatever the season, Fleet Farm has everything to keep your animals happy and healthy. Whether you're getting them through the winter season, mastering those retrieval skills season. Or wondering who takes care of who season. There's a reason people say, if Fleet Farm doesn't have it, you don't need it. Because we have it all. Fleet Farm, built for real life. The Edge is presented by these and other fine sponsors. about this one? That little one. No, I don't I don't need the net on this one. <laughs> you know the uh, the early the natural lakes that we fish up north whether they're you've got stained water lakes you've got dark water lakes you've got clear water lakes like we're on now and we got a bunch of lakes in the area here here and uh who has got a good one uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, I lost him go ahead. Okay. Adam, that was another good one. Okay. On a lot of these lakes right now, the lake that we're fishing, Clearwater Lake, got a lot of big weed flats, and a lot of the crappies in this lake right now are in six to ten foot of water in cabbage beds. Now they've been in here. They've been in here even at you know the last time you could ice fish, you're catching them in this area. Now another lake, a couple other lakes right around us. I got some friends two days ago. We're still catching the crappies. 40 feet of water, 35 to 40 feet of water where they left them in winter. The same day on that same lake, I know some other guys that were catching them a foot and a half down in the back end of the channels. Not all the crappies in the lake do the same thing at the same time. If you understand the pulse of the lake you're on and what these crappies do, there's little different pods of crappies. And if the first crappies to come in really shallow water as far as patterning them, ends up in channels. Now there's a lot, of, a lot of lakes, especially in metro areas, that have a lot of channels, man-made channels. And uh, the crappies load up and they're really, really, really early. They're the first fish that get really, really shallow. Then you get the fish that come in bays. Then you get a movement of fish in the shallow bays. Then you get these fish out on these flats like we're fishing here. But it's amazing how the different lakes have their own peculiarities. And uh, you can find out from local bait shops, get online, line to, ooh, ooh, <laughs> ooh. Boy, I tell you what, these, oh, sorry. I tell you what, these uh, panfish rods from St. Croix are the ticket too. I mean, I like a longer rod when I'm, it doesn't matter if I'm casting without a float, but I really like them with a float just because you can get, get them out there, get a long, a long cast. So this is that six foot nine ultralight fast panfish series rod. I mean, you look at the, the bend on that rod, it's got the perfect action for what we're doing. The action isn't nearly as, as uh, important when you're bobber fishing, obviously, other than just the fight. The fight is super fun on an ultralight, but with bobbers, you know, it's not like you're trying to feel the bottom or you're feeling the bite necessarily. So, but the, the length of the rod is actually what's more important because you want a long cast with long rods, you can really accomplish that.
A lot of guys today are using nano braid and fell in love with it. Jimmy and Jeremy, I know, uh, love that. I'm still kind of, an, I'm old school. I like mono. I got four pound mono on my system here. I'm comfortable with that. I, I use a lot of mono yet. Like I said, I'm, hey, I, I'm a slow learner. I'm old school. Give, give, give me a break, man. <laughs> but the point is any of it works. Any of it works. Nope. Love to see that bobber go down. Yeah, the crappie. Good one. You know what, Al? We've actually got into a few. I don't mind using the spot lock. You know, if you're just on one or two or three crappies and then all of a sudden they dry up. But Al and I have actually got into more like 15, 20. So I'm going to switch from spot lock to actually the talon. We're in perfect depth right now to drop this talon down. That way we don't have to worry about the motor kicking up any, any mud or causing any noise or anything like that. So this is a great opportunity to use a talon and not have to worry about that motor at all. Another one to grow up and get bigger. I think I got a better one. You got one? Of course, Ty just caught one. That means <laughs> I got a bite. <laughs> Want to learn how to catch more and bigger fish? Oh. Well, we've got the place for you. Introducing the Fish Head Video Library. Now you can enjoy hour after hour of educational videos right on your phone, tablet, laptop, desktop, or even stream videos right to your TV. Largemouth, smallmouth, walleye, catfish, muskie, pike and panfish, open water, or on the ice. Check out Fish Head TV to rent, buy, or become a Fish Head member today. Tired of doing this? Oh, yeah. Get a can of this and spend more time doing this. No Marine Pro Fuel Treatment helps marine engines start easier, run smoother, and last longer. Seafoam! Marine Pro, new from the makers of Seafoam. Marine Pro is a complete marine fuel system treatment. Just pour it in. Fast starts and smooth running power have never been this easy. Ask for Marine Pro wherever marine products are sold. You don't know their names yet, but you will. At Mercury, we invested thousands of hours of engineering manpower so you can enjoy hours and hours of untapped horsepower. The V6 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. At Mercury, there are no limits to what we'll do to make sure you have no limits either. The V8 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. The Edge is presented by these and other fine sponsors. Here we go. Another one of those ear sizes. Got a little further up to that time. Yeah. Just a little, little, this is a good one. You know, one thing about spring fishing, you look at the water temperature, it's about 43 degrees, and you get a little bit of wind, you really have to dress warm out here, because that wind will pull that, that cold air off, the, off that water, actually pull it out. So having a, a nice layering system, having a nice coat like the Zenith Blackfish Jacket is super important. These things are water resistant, wind resistant, It'll keep you warm all day long and keep you fishing out there a lot longer, and especially in the springtime when you get these, these gusts of wind. Anytime you got spring, you're talking about wind, so you got to dress accordingly. Isn't that a good one again? <laughs> oh, I just missed one. Need a net? No. But they're, they're good. <laughs> they're really yeah, good. I do need a net. I don't want to <laughs> flip it. That, that's bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> It got bigger as we got that, closer. That's, it got bigger when oh, you yeah, got in that. here. A, that is, a, that that is, might be the biggest one of the day. Yeah, I was going to say, this may be the biggest one of the day. Very probably is. <laughs> Springtime crappie fishing. 
is there anything better than a tie after a long winter? You, you guys been fishing crappies and walleyes and everything else through the ice. But boy, oh boy, when that ice goes off and you get a day like this, coming out and ch chasing these crappies is just like, you start to dream about it. You know it's gonna be on and you know it, it's a week away. Pretty soon it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. And when it happens, it's like, oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. The most hardcore bass fisherman, uh, salmon fisherman, tournament walleye angler, and, and they're as hardcore as they are for that type of fishing. When that spring crappie bite is on, they're on it and they're like a kid in a candy factory all over again. It's fun. You know, many years ago, I met a gentleman by the name of Jim Grassy. At the time, he lived in California. And Jim had a real heart for two things, reaching men for the Word of God and a Bible, the Word of God. And uh, he started an organization called Let's Go Fishing Ministry. And I had the opportunity to serve on his board for many years along with Hank Parker, Jimmy Houston, and a number of other uh, uh, of faith faithful believers in the Word of God that are part of the fish and tackle industry, and there's many of them, many manufacturers. Uh, he moved from there and moved to Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And uh, he went up there because of the hunting and fishing, and he loves both. And he started a ministry called Men's Ministry Catalyst. Again, Men's Ministry Catalyst. And uh, uh, Jim's got a real heart for men, the challenges that we all face in life, and he put together 14 little booklets that are, are gems, little pieces of, of, of gold, man, on, on how to deal with issues that we all face. Money, prideful spirit, temptation, frustration, worry, lost, isolation, fear, discouraged, Man up, what is discipleship? Anger, coping with stress, and joy. These are brilliant little reads that encourage people to uh, uh, men, particularly men, to deal with these issues that all of us face at some time in our life. You're ever interested in knowing more about this, go to Men's Ministry Catalyst. Men's Ministry Catalyst. It's a great reach if, if you do Bible studies, work with fishing clubs, uh, uh, anything thing you're interested in these issues. I'm, I mean, you'll love it. You'll be blessed by it. Just wanted to share that with you. There's so many good reads, that things that I'm so blessed to be able to work with people like Jim in, in my life. It, it's, he's had a big impact on me in how I look at things in life. A, a, a real blessing to call him a friend. Hey, from all of us here at The Edge, you have a good, safe fishing season. We will see you on the water. I got to get packed and get ready to go do a television show tomorrow. Looking forward to it. And if you really like what you see, we got a whole lot more. So check us out at any one of these online outlets.